Now, with respect to racing, if I, in the summertime, if I was doing 50K or 50 mile trail races right now. With All right, I think we've got it all laid out. Just grabbed my favorite running shorts. And here's the deal. If it was a cold, soggy run out there, 12 miles, I think 7.30 a mile. I was actually hoping, hold on, let me set this down over here. I was actually hoping to go a little slower, closer to eight minute pace, but the thunderstorms and uh, yeah, the rain just made me pick up the pace a little bit just to get out of it as quick as possible. Okay, so you may have noticed on the channel, I'm not much of a gear guy in the sense, like I love keeping running simple. Simpler the better, uh, less money you have to spend the better. There are a few items that do help, but are not 100% necessary to enter this sport. And that, you know what I'm always saying, like the sport of running is, it's accessible to everyone on earth. You really, all you need are a pair of running shoes and even that's debatable, okay? So everything I'm about to talk about, it's nice to have, but it's not 100% necessary. All right, so let's dive in. Oh yeah, and the real value for today's vlog, 100% will be down in the comments because here we go, question of the day. What is the number one piece of running gear that you cannot live, live without during the summer months. Okay, just you can only pick one. And I just remembered one that I forgot to grab, but I will mention it here in a minute. So let's dive in real quick, starting from head to toe. First of all, I love a good hat. This is by Fract, and oh yeah, and all the gear I'm about to mention, I'm gonna put the names on a title uh, on the screen in case I forget the full name. So this is Fractel. I don't, I, they might be out of Australia. I'm not positive on that. I love a good summer hat that has holes. Now, if you don't have any hair on your head, you might wanna reconsider this. Uh, same with this brand new hat, which I just wore today from Path Projects. I can tell this is gonna be a great summer hat, even though I've only worn it once, but just good, great breathability on top of the head during those hot summer runs, okay? So any, any hat, like a hat's a hat, you know what I mean? But I do love this Fractel hat right there. Okay, moving on. You know me in sunglasses, my Smith Chroma Pop. Um, there's the full name on your screen. The reason I love, and there's so many sunglasses out there, and these are not cheap. And yes, they are listed again on the website, uh, but there's no rim on the bottom. So for trail running, you know, having no infringement to your eyesight, especially down toward the rocks below your feet is critical. So that's why I love these Smith sunglasses. I've been racing in these for years and years now. There you go. Okay, also for those early morning runs, my favorite headlamp right now is definitely by Petzl. Uh, great battery life and very comfortable, no bounce. It's amazing actually, yeah. It's just an amazing design to keep it on your head secure and not very heavy either. There it is on your screen, also on your head, but this connects to this box. So my go-to headphones for listening to podcasts and audiobooks right now are Jaybird Vistas, but just a little secret is out of the bag now. The Jaybird Vista 2s are officially in for testing. So that's what I opened today with all of you a little bit ago. Okay, anything else? Actually, let's do it right now. Sunscreen. I need your help. And this is, okay, runners out there, it's, I do okay with putting sunscreen on in this, you know, when it's really hot out, but I could use your help. Like what sunscreen is best for runners? So down below in the comments, again, go check it out. I'd appreciate it, especially if like for me, um, it's hard to put it on your back, like when you're only, when you're out there on the trails alone, but like my ears, my nose, that's what I'm really concerned about. Um, anyway, my neck a little bit, but anyway, I will look forward to hearing your comments on sunscreen in a little bit. Okay, okay, moving on down. Actually, did I remember this? Let me just see, hold on, time out. No, I did not, it is not in this bag. So, um, here's the deal. In the summertime, I'm often running without a shirt. I do have some shirts, uh, one from Lululemon, one from John G, one from uh, Reebok. Those are kind of my go-to summer shirts as far as running, but a lot of times I'm just taking the shirt off and I don't know, like I know you gotta be careful with the sun exposure, but a lot of times I'm starting to run by 5.30 a.m. So the sun isn't even up yet anyway. Don't wanna get into that debate between, you know, how much sun you should be getting, but a lot of times, so I'm not gonna to talk too much about shirts on top, but I am gonna talk about vests right now. So I've got the Solomon vest. There it is on your screen, the, the one that I have 
frankly, still testing. I don't feel comfortable fully endorsing it. Um, it's been good, but you know what I'm about to talk about. For those who have been watching the channel a long, long time, this Raid Light vest is now three years old. This is their three liter version. It's, it's like, it's so old school at this point, but Raid Light is a small company out of France. I bought this before my first 100 mile race, and it is the go-to vest for daily vlogging. It just, I don't know what it is about it, probably because I'm just used to it, but as far as carrying a couple GoPros, my drone, uh, a gimbal, and then water and food, like it just works so, so well. So there you go, Raid Light, a company you may have never heard of, but you might be interested in researching. I'll try to remember to link to their website down below. Now, with respect to racing, if I, in the summertime, if I was doing 50K or 50 mile trail races right now, which I'm, I'm not really, now I realize Pikes Peak, but it also depends on how many aid stations are along the course, all right? But again, shout out to Raid Light. When this came out two years ago, this was the lightest vest on the marketplace. I mean, yeah, the lightest vest on the marketplace. And oh boy, the full name, I will put it on the screen. I forget the exact specifications. Um, so, so sorry. Anyway, it is, um, there it is, the Revolutive. Um, anyway, amazing. Love, love, love this vest from Raid Light. Again, two years ago when it was released, it was the second, um, sorry, it was the lightest vest on the marketplace. Okay, moving down, my go-to running shorts in the summertime, Jonji, okay, really enjoying Jonji. There's another pair, New Balance, okay, love my New Balance. Lululemon, which did I forget to grab those? Now, you know Lululemon, they don't give them away. They're expensive, but with respect to chafing, okay, and this is what I forgot to grab uh, in my, I think it's in my room, is squirrel's nut butter, okay? Chafing is no good. For some reason, there's more chafing in the summertime than in the wintertime, and so you, for those out there, like everybody, it's nothing uh, we should be ashamed or taboo to talk about as runners. It happens to everybody at some point in their running career, so don't feel like it's a strange thing. Chafing does happen. Squirrel's nut butter is the go-to for me, and there it is on your screen. I'll try and find a PNG file for, uh, picture to put on the screen as well so you can identify that. Okay, moving down the body, you know me and the flip belt. Now there's a lot of different styles out there. Not everybody loves the flip belt design. I've grown to love it. I think it could be perfected. I'll just say that much flip belt, but again, it's go-to for me for carrying my phone. And then also, so your phone just slides right in there. And then also now for carrying the beacon for the drone that chases me, all right? The, the drone that chases me, the beacon slides in there as well. Okay, moving down the body, let's go into the socks. I think we're, well, actually, okay, real quick. This is an Ultra Aspire. Um, I don't know if it's charged, actually. Oh, it is charged. Ultra Aspire. Um, it goes around your waist, okay? And it's a, it's a it, so in addition to the Petzl headlamp, okay, there's the headlamp. When you're doing those long, early morning trail runs or maybe you're running through the night, I love light shining right in front of my feet, like right there. I don't want any, I don't wanna, I don't wanna trip and fall. So this is Ultra Aspire. This is actually their older version. I think they have a lighter one now. I love, love, love this piece of equipment for lighting, okay? Ultra Aspire, right there. It just goes around your waist, boom, right on uh, light. Because here's the thing, the headlamp, the headlamp shines kind of out and a little bit down. I know you can change the angle on the headlamp, but this I just put right at my feet, just so there's no, yeah, I just, I don't wanna roll any ankles out there. Okay, again, moving down the body, uh, Steigen, you know, so far, it's just, now these are thin, and I'm sure they make thicker socks, but these are thinner, and again, I believe it's a company out of Australia. I've just grown to really enjoy these Steigen socks for summer training. They're thinner, and I think they are, are they grip well. That's what there's a little bit of friction built into the toe box and the midfoot. I don't know if you can see that there on your screen, but a little bit of friction just to help you get a little grip inside the shoe. I gotta say, I've got the In Silence socks on my feet right now. And I can just sense these are gonna be solid. Maybe not as much for trail running, I don't know yet, but I can tell for road running in the summertime, in silence, 
These are gonna be amazing. So here they are. I did, first of all, love the colors. Nice and bright, good for filming. And uh, so we will test the In Silence socks for all of you. That is it, everybody. Um, hold on, let me just make sure. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Okay, two more. Okay, three more things. <laughs> Real quick, my go-to watch right now, Koros. The only reason why, the, you know me, I'm not a tech guy, not a gearhead. The only reason I'm loving this watch right now, connectivity connectivity. I despise wasting time. It's like I loathe it. That's the only reason I'm not wearing the Polar Vantage V2 right now. It's It struggles with connectivity through Bluetooth. It just struggles. Koros, I've never had an issue thus far with this watch. That is my go-to watch right now for summer gear. And then Lumi Outdoors, keeping your shoes smelling good. Can you see that? Ready? Whoop. Okay. Woo so this is Lumi Outdoors Home Essentials. Uh, just that you spray it inside your shoes just to help your shoes stay smelling good for those summer miles. And then Nathan, so I have an insulated version, but Nathan is, for me, has been my go-to for uh, handheld hydration, okay? So I've got a bigger one for longer runs, but here you go. You just love it, love it, love it. Great for, this one would be a great one for like a long run, and then I have a bigger one for like, you know, 25 mile trail runs when I go up Pikes Peak, for example. So Nathan is my go-to handheld water bottle. And now listen, eh, now who doesn't make a handheld at this point? But I've just had a lot of good, a good success with Nathan. All right, I think we covered it all. Listen, we could go on and on. Again, the real value for today's vlog will be down in the comments, okay? Let's have a great summer of training. Finally, the trail, I know in the Southern Hemisphere, it's turning in, into winter down there, but uh, I just, you know, just think, just just remember, running in d January, February, you know, when, or even in March and April when it was extra, you know, we got two feet of snow here in Denver, and now we can just go out the door in a pair of shorts, socks, and shoes, and maybe sunglasses. Like, it's just so simplified and easier, I'm gonna say, to turn that door, uh, you know, easier in the sense like you don't have to put, put as much gear on. And I love that, I just love, 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 love that. So that's my running uh, gear lineup and uh, looking forward to answering as many questions as I can today in the comments. All right, we'll toss it right about where I'm sitting to past uh, running gear discussions, okay? I know I've done this before in the past, so right here, right here, right here. All right, thanks for being here, everybody. Seek beauty work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.